Let's consider the uh, Cauchy-Euler equation given by x squared y double prime plus 3xy prime plus y equals 0 with the uh, two-point boundary value conditions y of 1 equals 1 and y of e equals 1. Now this is a Cauchy-Euler equation because the y double prime is multiplied by x squared, the y prime is multiplied by x, and the y has no uh, x multiplication. Uh, the, the easy way to solve the uh, Cauchy-Euler equation is to try the uh, substitution uh, y of x equal to a power law, x to the r, and because of the nature of the Cauchy-Euler equation and the nature of the derivative of a power law, when we take the second derivative, this exponent will drop by 2, but then we'll recover the exponent because we multiply by x squared. And when we take the first derivative, the exponent drops by 1, and we recover by multiplying by x. So when we substitute uh, y of x equals x to the r into this equation, the x to the r term will cancel, and we'll end up with um, the second derivative will give us an r, r minus 1, plus uh, 3, the first derivative will give us an r, plus 3r, plus y, which will give us a 1, equals 0. And uh, <coughs> we rewrite this, this is a quadratic equation in r, so we get r squared minus r plus 3r plus 2r plus 1 equals 0, which is a uh, perfect square, r plus 1 squared equals 0. So we have just one root here, r equal to minus one. Okay? One root of the Cauchy-Euler equation, one root of the characteristic equation associated with this Cauchy-Euler equation, that's the case of uh, degenerate roots. Um, we can recall, we know how to do the case of degenerate roots for the constant coefficient equation. So to remember how to do it for the Euler equation, we can remember that uh, we can convert this to an exponential ansatz if uh, x is related to a new variable psi by x equals e to the psi. Then this will be e to the r psi. So if x is e to the psi, then we can let y of x equals capital Y of psi. And with this substitution, it becomes a, the, the uh, Cauchy-Euler equation becomes a constant coefficient equation. We know how to deal with one real root for the constant coefficient equation. And so we can remember, we can write down y of psi is equal to, um, with uh, one real root of minus 1, so it will be e to the minus psi and then we have an a plus a b psi for the case of the constant coefficient equation. And then we can convert this back to the uh, Euler equation. So we get y of x. The e to the minus psi, psi here is log x, right, when x is positive and our boundary conditions are positive. So e to the minus log x gives us our 1 over x, which is what you would expect since the root is, is uh, r is minus 1 here. And then we get our a plus b psi, so psi is log x. So this becomes the general solution of the Cauchy-Euler equation. So that's how I remember this, this form, but you can also just simply uh, memorize it. Okay, and then uh, we need to satisfy boundary conditions. So y of 1 equals 1, y of e equals 1. So let me write that down here. y of 1 equals 1, y of e equals 1. 
So when we try to satisfy y of 1, we get 1 over 1 times a plus b log 1. Log of 1 is 0, so 1 over 1 times a. So the first condition here will tell us that a has to be 1. Okay, So that's coming from uh, this one. The uh, second condition, y of e, we get a 1 over e, 1 over e, uh, a is 1, so times 1, uh, log of e, log of e is 1, so 1 plus b, and that's supposed to be equal to 1. Okay, so this is the second uh, boundary condition. Okay, so y of e is 1 over e times a, which is 1 plus b log e, log e is 1, so plus b, that's supposed to be equal to 1. So we get 1 plus b equals e, which tells us that b is equal to e minus 1. Okay? And uh, so we can put together our solution here. So y of x is equal to 1 over x times a 1 plus b e minus 1 times log x. And that would be valid for uh, x positive. Okay? That's the solution of the uh, Cauchy Euler equation.